What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the No Level Up Run of Dark Souls 3. Uh, this is still the same recording day, and I just got done with that fight in the last episode with the uh, Sorcerer Dude. I think it was Logan. I think the Sorcerer is Logan. I'm going to jump through here and get Sigward. Can't believe I got that jump on the first try. Hi, Sigward. There you go. You are loose. And that opens up the way to Yorm. Sigward, you're awesome, dude. You are the man. Thank you for the Titanite slap. He's going ahead. I have my own road to take. Duty fulfill. I know. I will help you fulfill that duty. And then you're going to die. Spoiler alert. Sorry if you didn't know that. But, uh... This game's been out for uh, five years. Five years now. So, Dark Souls is not uh, built on great story, really. I mean, there is great lore. There is great lore. I've talked about a lot of videos, whoever he is, videos. Like, really uh, capture the lore documentary style. It's really very cool. But uh, the story itself, as you're playing the game, if you're not reading... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is not good. Um, as you're playing the game, there's really not much story to it. You're just trying to get all the flames and all the souls of the uh, Heirs of Fire and fighting your way through. I'm just going to run through so I don't feel like dealing with this bullshit. I got the Jailer key ring, which will open up some cells back at the dungeon, and uh, free Carla as well. So yeah, drop down here. Wrath of the Gods. Spell I can't use. Yep, I have to get back to the bonfire like ASAP. I could use a Homeward Bone, but... You know what? Actually, uh, I can't get back up there anyway. Um, I am going to use a Homeward Bone. I am going to cheat. I mean, that's not actually cheating. You know what? I'm going to go to the shrine. I'm going to see if I can level up my uh, axe anymore. Free Rat is still crying over there. Once again, I know I've said it before, I have never seen him molt that long. Usually he gets up and he's like, oh, I'm going to, I'll, I'll go pillaging for you and Blah, 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 blah. I should probably look up why he's still like that. Maybe I'll do it and I'll put it in a... Um, I'll put it on the screen. Maybe why. I am not going to go back and free Carla right now. It's just not necessary. I'm sorry. All you Carla fans out there. Maybe I will eventually, but right now it's just not... It's not important to what I need to do right now. And, uh, oh, I guess I, I realized maybe I'm fighting Yorm in this episode. Because the trek through Profane Capital is not very long. Um, although there is some bullshittery to deal with. Such as that. And there's a gargoyle up here that will hopefully jump so I can run underneath him. I know I left an item back there. I don't even know what it is, and I don't care. Now we got, instead of jailers, we got these guys who are not as bad. They can be a pain in the ass, but they're not that bad. This is a good place to level up, too, if you're really looking to farm souls. Which I, of course, am not doing. Because I am, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, problem, 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 can't talk. Alright, yeah, come up here, that's cool. I can deal with you. At least these guys don't drain your max life bar like the jailers do. <clears throat> but yeah. Good place to level up. Oh, get, get the fuck with your stupid fire. Screw you and your stupid fi Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, you can't really... Um, oh, shit, I fell. Can't really play around. Actually, that probably saved my life. Can't really play around with these guys either, but they're not quite the menace that the jailers are, in my opinion. 
Oh, that gargoyle fell down. He is going to want to deal with me. No, 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 no. And I'm going to go this way. Ooh. Oh, shit, that probably didn't work. It did not. Do, do. Oh, I took a risk with that third hit. Oh, oh I'm dead, damn it. Oh, I took a risk with that third swing. I shouldn't have. I was trying to get the extra damage points. But I paid the price for it because he doesn't need extra damage points to kill me. Oh, see, here we go. Stupid wing shield thing. I don't know if I can kick it, but I'm not. Well, I mean, when you go close to him, he hits you with the wing and then hits you with his whatever weapon he has. He tends to be bearing, but, but see, like that. So it's not beneficial for me to try the kick technique, which I don't think would work anyway. I just kind of try to bait him into swinging and then do that. And then take a hit on him. Ugh. Zip. Shit. There we go. Alright. Back off. He's only got one more hit. Okay. That was not the one hit. Oh, he gave it up. Oh, shit. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. That could have ended badly. I am going to ignore this area to the right. Where there are those guys in there. I think all that's in there is rusted coins. That's not helpful to me right now. I got all these guys over here, and the gargoyle up there, and three treasure, treasure chests, two of which are mimics. So this area is very fun. Oh, I didn't even hit him. That sucked. <laughs> Run for it. All right. Those guys are dealt with, and now we got these guys. Oh, what's up? You can't fool me. Oh, crap. I didn't lock on him. Okay. Can't fool me with your bullshit. Oh, come on. Come on. I dodged. That was bullshit. <sighs> You know what? Screw those guys. Screw those treasure chests. I'm going for Yorm right now. I'm going to go for Yorm right now because I think that's what everyone would like. <laughs> but um, I kind of thought I'd get to him in this episode and uh, I don't even remember what's in those treasure chests and it's probably crap that I'm not going to use, but you know what? Sometimes I'm leaving all my souls back there. Whatever, I don't really care. Does this thing follow me? Oh, oh, this is not good. And I'm lingering. Can he even get through? Oh, he can't get through. Awesome. All right. Hopefully, we'll be able to come up. Yes. All right. Cool. This scene is fucking awesome, I think. Yom, old friend. I, secret of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my place. I love it. I love it so much. The story is basically is that Yorm, before he became un unkindled and woke back up when the, uh, I think the twin princes refused to light the flame or whatever. I need this weapon here. Um. Ooh, I gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Alright. Here we go. Um. Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. Dodging is going to be a problem, but uh, Yorm and Sigurd used to be friends, and um, oh shoot, not good. Oh, I think I, I didn't get him. Um, Yorm and Sigurd used to be friends, and uh, Sigurd promised Yorm that uh, 
he would put him out of his misery if he came back on Kindle. But she is. Oh, there we go. You know, up until right now, I didn't realize that this attack was actually is actually a projectile attack. I thought I had to be like right underneath him in order to use it. I've been fucking doing this the hard way the whole time. But that's just me, isn't it? That's the way I do fucking everything. I got you, Sigward. I'm coming, buddy. Oh! Yeah, isn't it interesting that the weapon that can kill Yorm is right next to him on the throne? Why didn't he get rid of that? Why does he leave that lying around? Gotcha. Why does he leave that right next to him where we can grab it and then use it against him? Seems kind of stupid, doesn't it? I think so. Nope. Ha ha ha! Oh, I got you, Sigurd. Oh, now you're coming for me, aren't you? Oof! Oh, that was terrible dodging. Oh, that would suck if I died right now. Heal. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, because of course I did. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. That was very dumb of me. That was very dumb of me. I'm very disappointed in myself right now. I don't think I've ever died fighting next to Sigurd against Yorm. So, I don't know if we're still... Did I fuck it up? Oh, no, there's Sigurd. Okay. I'm like... Shit, what happens? Oh, should have uh, done this first. <sighs> Let's not fuck it up this time. I got you. Oh, I didn't get him. Fuck. God damn it, Bobby. You suck at everything. Fucking suck at everything. There we go. Sigurd's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You're supposed to be helping me. I know. I tried Sigurd. I had him. I fucking had him. And I blew it. <clears throat> I will get him this time. I will get him. Oof. I don't think that worked. I don't think it worked. It might have been too far away. I'll get him now. Oof. Oh shit, he's coming for me. Paying attention now. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. Thank you, Sigurd. You're awesome. I'm still pissed at myself. <laughs> I am still pissed. I had him down that far and I fucking blew it. I just blew it. Not this time. Not this time. Got you, buddy. There you go. Heal yourself. Oh, see, he's coming for me. There you go. That's teamwork. I'm still fucking pissed. I'm so sorry. I keep talking about it. I had him. That's okay. It's fine. I'm putting it out of my mind now because I will get him this time. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Is Sigurd dead? <gasps> Sigurd died! Oh, I'm so sorry, Sigurd. I mean, you were going to die after this anyway, but... Still... You could have... Oh, man. Now I'm double upset. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. Oh, I'm dead! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can hear the laughter of anyone watching this video right now. Because Yorm is actually one of the easier bosses in the game because of the weapon that kills him quickly. <sighs> I'm ashamed. This episode is going to go a little long. I am not leaving this episode until I beat Yorm. End of story. I'm beating him. The Sigurd died. What a... Oh my god, what a failure. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing?
trying to charge my weapon right now. I'm not even in with the arm. Oh my god. I do not deserve to beat this game in this playthrough. I do not deserve it. Oh my god. I have no words. I just, I have no words. I fucked it up the first time when he had like 2% of his health left and then I got Sigward killed. <sighs> Pissed off, dude. Pissed off. Pissed. Now I gotta fight him by myself. That's gonna make things 10 times harder. Yes, I got Storm Ruler. Now I have two of them. Fuck you, Yorm. I'm getting you. For Sigward. I will do it for Sigward. Alright. Now it's going to be ten times harder. Because i got to find time to charge the weapon. Right between the legs. Going for it. Got him. <sighs> so pissed. So pissed. Ugh. So sorry, Sigward. You deserve better. Ow. Nope. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, Superman Punch. <laughs> That's what I call that move. Okay, here we go. Do it real quick. Oh! <sighs> Fuck you, Yorm. Fuck you! Charge again, real quick. Shit. At least that fire doesn't do any damage. Oh shit. That does, though. That does, though. Superman punch. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I don't know that one. Fuck you, Alexa. I'm not talking to you. Oh, shit. Heal, 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 heal. Alright. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Boom! I got, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up right now, dude. I am totally fired up right now. I'm going for... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> I am way fired up. Like, I need to beat this fucker now. Because I let Sigurd die. Oh, that worked out well. Shit, that didn't work out well. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Boom! Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. I should be saying that to myself, because I'm the one that fucked it up. Shit, it's not charged. We gotta get through. Gotta get through. Swing. There we go. Alright. There we go. Going for it. Fuck you. I'm gonna say that every time I hit you, because I'm so fucking pissed. I should just kill myself. In the game. Not in real life. My life is good right now, and I'm enjoying it. I'm just not enjoying this. Oh shit. Oh wow. Yorm, where are you dude? Oh shit, that didn't even have an effect on him. Fuck. Oh, Superman punch! <sighs> Gotta find the time. Fight smarter, not harder. Whoa, whoa, got him. Got out of the way. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nope. Yep. Superman punch. Try and charge. Try and charge. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Not good, not good. Roll between the legs. Oh, god damn it. God fucking damn it. <sighs> oh 
Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm. I'm not going to keep this all in the episode, but I have been completely silent since that last kill. That last death, I should say. It's not a kill on my part. I fucking died, is what happened. Oh, shit. Shit. I will not end this episode. I will not until I beat Yorm. End of story. End of story. I'm I'm done. I'm fucking done. Fuck you, Gargoyle. I'm not kindling because I only have two embers left. And that is not good. Yorm can probably kill me in one shot now. Fuck. I'm dead. I really want to break everything in my room right now. I am so... I, I have not been this angry in a long time. And it's at myself. It's at myself. Got no one else to blame. I can't complain that the game is screwing me. <clears throat> I'm just... Mad at myself. What the fuck? Oh my... souls. Getting my souls, because I don't even give a shit. I don't. I don't fucking care. At all. <sighs> Fuck me. There it is. He's dead. I can't even be fucking happy about it. Can't even be happy about it. Can't even give a fuck. For those of you that haven't seen it, I mean, it's not a major... I don't know. After you beat Yorm and Sigurd is still alive, Sigurd basically collapses on the ground and you guys do one last toast and then when you leave the room he dies. So yeah, that's what happens there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now that Yorm is dead, that is where I'm going to end this episode. If it is a million hours long, I apologize. It shouldn't be that long. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you feel like I've earned it. I would not leave a like on this episode. I fucking put a thumbs down on it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys.
What's going on guys? Thank you for checking out the video today, but I've got a question for you. Do you like fantasy books? Like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones style stuff? Well, you may remember when I was making videos all those years ago that I was advertising a book called The Roar of a Dragon. Well now, it's a series. The Roar of a Dragon, The Treachery of a Weasel, and The Cry of a Raven. The epic conclusion to the Roar of a Dragon trilogy. The series follows the story of a soldier by the name of Aiden of Delmar, who is exiled from his country for saving a baby dragon, and then he's killed. That's right, I said he's killed. Did I just give that away? I did, because he wakes up 3,000 years later with a ghastly appearance, strange powers, and he's being watched over by the very dragon that he saved. Evil has overrun the world, and Aiden must now travel back to his own time to set things right. The story continues in The Treasure of a Weasel, where the disappearance of one of Aiden's companions drives him to near insanity, and it covers the race and time for him to find this companion and do the things he must do. And in The Cry of a Raven, Aiden must gather as many countries as he can, he must rally as many countries as he can to battle Sirak and the evil Therlor, but one of his companions is undergoing some very personal issues and threatens to destroy the group from within. Check out the book series that ReadersFavorite.com said, its intensity rivals that of the Game of Thrones series. Can you believe that? Well, you can judge for yourself. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com and you can get your copies today in paperback or ebook slash Kindle. Or if you just want to sample it, if you just want to read a couple chapters, you can read the first three chapters of all of these books for free on robertblanchardbooks.com. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com and get the Roar of a Dragon series today. And thank you for watching.